Here is another question from one of our viewers who wanted to know if you had plumbing fixtures on different walls, what it would look like. And that was a response to a video like this one I made a few years ago, showing you how to install plumbing in a single wall or basically in a straight line. And even though you can't do this most of the time, you can keep the fixtures close together to where you're not using as much materials and you're not going to be digging longer trenches for the water supply and drain pipes, which also means you're not going to be filling those holes back in and recompacting the materials that somehow seem to rarely get recompacted correctly. And I think what the viewer was trying to figure out is how you would connect the pipes. And you're going to do that laterally. And you can see right here where the plumbing is connecting laterally or to the side of each pipe fitting. And you can see here where we have a bathroom, wash machine, and a kitchen sink and how it's going to be connected together. And even though this is a small house, you're going to be able to get a pretty good idea how to move some of these fixtures around by simply sliding them down one way or the other way. So for example, if I wanted to move the laundry this way, all I'm going to do is slide this entire section in that direction and then extend the length of this pipe here. Or if I wanted to move this all the way down to here, I could just simply 45 this into this pipe here so that I wouldn't need to waste additional materials or dig longer holes. And if I wanted to move this this way, I would just simply connect it to this pipe in the same way that I've connected these two pipes together. And of course, I do have a clean out at each end of the pipes. Clean out here, clean out here, and a clean out for the kitchen sink. And you can see here where the bathtub is connecting in to this fitting here so that I can share the vent with the toilet. And hopefully that makes sense. Plumbing is not the easiest thing to figure out, but with a little effort and quite a few more videos, you should be able to figure out what you need for your project. And don't forget to check with your local building department to verify all of the information you find in a video because some videos, even mine, aren't going to include everything you need all of the time. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.